Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Sui. So Sui is still holding the swing low from yesterday. That is potentially promising um, because we talked about a potentially unfolding fifth wave to the upside. One more high in this larger degree third wave. By the way, in yesterday's video, I also covered the daily chart. Yeah, the, the bigger picture. I'm not going to do that today, but uh, we did that yesterday. So if you're interested in the overall context, you know, if you're wondering how all of this is integrated in the bigger picture, check yesterday's video out. Um, but at the moment, we are still holding our, let's say, upper micro support here, which is located, it's the upper support area, right? Which is located between 265 and 327. This is um, micro support, which is relevant for an internal fourth wave, which might lead to another high in wave five. So again, there's um, there are two bullish scenarios that we are actually tracking. And the first one is the directly bullish one. And I go to the one hour chart, which allows for one more high targeting 426 next, 427. Yeah, maybe even 521. If things really, you know, if it's uh, more directly, more aggressively bullish, this would be the fifth wave there to the upside. These two levels will matter. And internally, this would be a five wave move most likely. But for now, this would only be part of the um, uh, one of the valid scenarios as long as we're holding above this upper micro support which you know so far is holding we only entered it a couple of days ago and the price reacted already twice to it the second reaction was even a more substantial buy reaction but we haven't broken out to the upside so what i would want to see next is actually a break above this yellow trend line there which is currently positioned yeah, you could say at around, you know, 350, but more clearly, or let's say a better signal that we're actually breaking out would be a move above yesterday's high at 353. This would need to be next, you know, and um, yes, as I said, you know, we, we need to hold that support area there 265 to 326. But let's be honest, um, it would already indicate weakness should we break below yesterday's low. So I would prefer to for it to hold 297 and then we could just go higher more directly i mean that's what we need to be watching for today yeah maybe it's going to happen in the new york session where we have typically a lot of volatility but then any break below 265 would be short-term bearish but it could i mean at the moment the correction is any anyway unfolding but now we have a first signal that might indicate we are starting the next move up that that is at least a noticeable bounce but it's not convincing it because we haven't even broken above the trend line. But the next, let's say, short-term bearish, but overall next bullish option would be a, um, a pullback into that lower support region you see on the chart, located between $1.71 and um, $2.09. Yeah, and then we would probably move like an A, B, C structure. And in this case, the $1.71 to $2.09 support area is gonna be relevant, but we don't at the moment know if we're already in that larger wave four. The, piv the pivot that helps us distinguish for uh, these two scenarios, yeah, between the short-term bearish but bullish and the short-term bullish scenario, that's the 265 level. So as long as we're holding above 265, I'm gonna look for more higher, more directly, unless I, I really see weakness in the chart. For now, I think it's still okay. The pullback is just corrective overlapping, indicating there could be one more high to come. Yeah, and um, that's the update about Sui. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.